Braun, the trial begins for a local man accused of putting his neighbor in a shallow pit in his yard. Dennis Dunn blames mental illness brought on by using meth. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is live with today's testimony. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, the victim in this case testified just a little bit earlier today. Right now, Dennis Dunn is actually on the stand. He claims he's mentally ill and that he and Elliot were in a romantic relationship. He also says he was trying to protect her from a prostitution ring and a satanic cult. Nearly two years after Jennifer Elliott was found in a pit under a shed, she walked into the courtroom to face the man charged with kidnapping her, Dennis Dunn. He was a neighbor to my parents for a pretty good while. Elliot testified she was living with her parents in Blanchester, helping to care for her ailing father. She said she only visited Dunn's house once to do laundry, and they would sometimes talk on the phone. What did he say? That he liked me and that he wished that, you know, I ever liked him the same way and just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Then in the early morning hours of April 26, 2017, Elliot said she ended up in Dunn's shed. And he was accusing me of causing him to lose his house, his job, and his car. Elliot said she froze. Dunn was angry and showed her the hole he had dug. Do you remember how you got in the hole? When he was in there, he pulled me down in there. Do you remember generally the types of things he was saying? Yeah, that he wanted me to be his. Dunn claims he put Elliot in the hole to protect her from a satanic cult she took part in. Have you ever had a conversation with him regarding satanic cults? No. Police and Elliot's mother later found her in the pit suffering from an epileptic seizure. Dunn's attorney asked Elliot about whether she set up Dunn for the kidnapping charge. Did you uh, ask to be put into the pit? No. Did you ask him to dig the pit? No. Now, Jennifer Elliott testified that she's four feet, nine inches tall. She said that she tried to get out of that pit, but that Dunn had put a piece of wood over it, along with some heavy items on top of it. And she said she simply couldn't get out and that she was afraid. Dunn, meanwhile, he, as I mentioned, he is on the stand. He says this was all her idea and she was trying to get away from her mother. We'll hear from him coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live from the Clinton County Courthouse in Wilmington, and Jeanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammy, back to you. All right, and Jeanette, thank you. Now this is a bench trial, so the judge will decide the case instead of a jury. <laughs>